Hi, dear Libra. Take a beautiful deep breath in, raising your vibration. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Libra, we're going to ask Spirit to show you your blocks in your love life, and then we're going to go from there. I do already see that there's a lot of holding on to the past, the battles, the um, am I good enough, um, why am I not good enough, and all those are lies. So thank you so much. So be aware of that. So, the self, whoa, the self-talk. Um, that's negative. Okay, yeah. We don't want any negative energy, right? Mm. There's the battles. Wow. Okay. I want you to look at, uh, I believe Cancer had wars and battles and spirituality and religion, but and cancer is mothering energy, and so if your mother or your mother figure or if you have cancer in your energy, definitely want to look at that um, and meditate on where spirit is showing you to release those chains. I feel very strongly that many of you have had mothers that were in the church, might have been the first lady in the church could have been the pastor, but I feel like more of you, it was just the first lady that really judged you and didn't mean to do that. You know, you really just wanted to go a different way and um, you wanted to just do what was best for you. And, and you, that block is subscribing to your parents, or in particularly your mother or your grandmother, your auntie, the mother figure in your life that even if she wasn't around, um, the lack of that teaching um, to just live your life differently. Maybe you even separated from the church and you're more spiritual now, and your mother is against that. Maybe your mother is against your spiritual gifts, um, but that war, that battle with your mother and spirituality or your your uh, tradition, um, your the way you worship the Most High, the way you pray, um, the way you commune and fellowship, you're starting to see that, that that wasn't healthy, and that's the block. And it's fixable. Okay, it's definitely fixable. And we're going to give you the affirmations that you need to regain your power and um, honor the music. You know, you're going to find a lot of uh, comfort in just hearing the lyrics and the tones and the notes and different musical instruments and songs and just fall in love with that. vision that you have for your relationship life uh, because I feel like some of you understand that the vision that your mom had for you is not the vision you have for you in your relationship life. So before I even ask what your spirit animal is, focus on what's healthiest for you. What is your vision for yourself and allow whatever tune comes in because you're harmonizing with divine source with your um, higher power and in that energy you're able to release any battling energy any toxic energy that you have with your mother with the one that raised you with the one that gave birth to you um, and the circumstances that she might have conceived you in and you're able to really harmonize with what's healthiest for you. Let me just share with you the energy in the stars that you have for you this month. 
you know, Libra, there's a fullness. There is a, a cascading and outpouring of relationship and balance for you. And you come into the month like that. And I feel like there's just this release, this need to say, you know, what's healthiest for you and to really visualize that and to come to terms with that, come to grips with it. And what partnership really means to you? What does love look like? What does it feel like to you? And where does that, where is that balance? Really, where is it for you? Is it like this or is it like this or is it really like this? But that you don't have you don't have to subscribe to someone else's ideal for your love life. It's your vision. And then around the 16th, you have this beautiful new beginning um, that you really want to take an action 72 hours after the 16th. Certainly want to be focusing on it before that on yourself. What do you want? What is healthiest for you and in your love life? And what is it? What's your truth? Because at the end of the month, on that beautiful full moon, blue moon energy, Spirit saying, be open to receiving. Be open to letting me give it to you, to those that I've assigned to you. This is the benefit of support, of love from other people. And it's a real big month of transformation in your love life, I feel. So focusing on what you want to expand that vision that you have for your love life. Fall in love with the music, with the lyrics, with the tunes, with the messages that come through song. Meditate through guided meditation. Um... But with the spirit of the chameleon, stay in the background and adapt to the situation rather than being conspicuous and attempting to direct the course of events and just doing too much. Really take this time out to just kind of... Because this new moon for you is huge. And the fact that the full moon coming into October is all releasing self for you. It's really a, a outpouring of your own energy. And that is beautiful for you to be placed right under the stars that say Libra. And for you to walk into this new moon energy of creating the type of love life that you truly want, whether you're coupled up or not, is still under the stars of self for you on the 16th. So I really want you to pour into yourself and visualize what is that? See it in your mind's eye. What does that look like for you? Feel it. Um, you know, and, and it it doesn't have to be the battle, the toxicity, the feeling persecuted, the, the arguing, the never feeling like you're good enough, the never being able to please your mom. Uh, the being the daddy's girl or the daddy's boy or the mama's boy or um, and just not being able to be the musician and fall in love with your passion uh, because it wasn't, um, maybe it was frowned upon in um, your religious umbrella or the way that you were taught to worship. But what it all boils down to is what's healthiest for you. And to really see that and to make your dreams come true now in your love life. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You are able to really wipe the slate clean this month, honey. Those lies that hurt. And from you being a child and from your own children, it's important that you do this. Um, so that you can do what's right for your children and so that you can release from the lies that you were told because they have left you feeling like this fragile egg and that's destructive. And so you are really feeling the truth 
of the situation that's on your soul right now with your mom um, or the mother figure in your life or was in your life. And that's a very fragile energy to be in. Um, spirit is encouraging you to be vulnerable to the energy around you. There's abusive, volatile, angry energy, and it's not healthy. And you're being guided to really seek professional help. Begin healing through reconnecting your relationship with the Most High, dear Libra. And be reminded that children are at the center of your intimate life. And it is most important for you to choose someone that wants children and will be a great parent. And consider your children's voice in the situation that's on your soul, in your love life. Um, you must speak as their advocate while speaking your own truth. And that might go against your mother. It might go in sync with what your mother has been guiding you to do. And you might realize that the war, the battle, is within yourself, not wanting to do what your mom wants you to do because she's right. So whatever that is for you, I know that you will find your way out. You will find your way to a sense of balance and peace. And you will do what's healthiest for not only you, but certainly for the children you have and or the children that you're going to have. And you will focus, as I encourage you to, focus on your connection with Divine Source and focus on the fact that your relationship with your mother, no matter what, was always meant to be of unconditional love. That's the highest energy. Libra, I know that you'll get through this. I know that you'll have a beautiful month ahead. And I know that you are absolutely creating some powerful energy for your legacy here. If there's anything that I can do for you, please let me know. And I look forward to working together and reading for you. Take great care and stay blessed.